Hey! I'm Andre Arrington, and this is part of my Christmas gift. God, do I love me cardigans and v-necks. It's good. Thing. How are you guys doing today? Today is January 12th of the new year, 2012, and that is a 12 in each number. I don't know about you, but I find that odd. God damn it! I swear to God that it is never open when I'm not shooting videos. Only when I'm shooting these episodes is that thing open. Otherwise, it is always closed. One second. Okay, now that we don't have any interruptions, here we are. Let's start the show, shall we? Today's episode, parents. Once again, touching on the whole family thing. Be happy with what you got. Because once they're gone, you're going to hate yourself if you treat them wrong. We all have them. We fight with them all the time. We swear they don't understand. What's that Will Smith song? Parents just don't understand, right? I don't know about your parents, but they're not understanding, but my parent is still young. And when I say parent, I mean I was raised by only one. And when I say they were young, or she was young, I will tell you why later in this video. Now, let's start with parents are, shall we? A parent is when female meets male, and they're like, hey, let's be more than such. And then they do, you know, turn sideways, and then this happens, and this happens, and this happens. Whoa, we're not gonna talk about that, because we all know what makes parents. We, <laughs> we all have the birds and the bees story, and I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you've already done that. Hopefully not all of you are parents. I know some of my friends are, some of you aren't, but let me tell you, it is a pretty fun gig. I like how I call it gig, like it's one of my shows or something, but you know, it's interesting. I like to quote one of my favorite comedians, Louis C.K. said, is that you don't raise kids for them to be kids, you're raising them to be the adults that you plan them to be. And I'm pretty sure my mom raised me white. I mean right, sorry mom. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm actually so glad I wasn't raised by someone else. My mom is awesome. She's only one of the best women I've ever known. She is one of the best, is the best woman I've ever known. And uh, she did a really good job on her own. She raised a couple of kids on her own and she's still doing it. And she's a strong black woman. And so I always find it funny because I realize when I talk to my friends, I always like, oh, my parents are so old, they don't understand. Well, my mom is 39. She was not very old when she had me. 15, 16, if I'm correct. And she did it. So I'm actually very proud of her to be the first one to know that she actually did it just fine without my father's help. Now, I will not sit here and say that my father didn't want to be in the picture. He really didn't have a choice, so I don't blame him. I do still talk to him to this very day, and I love him very much because I get a lot of my looks from him. I get my personality from my mom, for the most part, and my looks from my dad, for the most part. So, I love them both equally on equal footing, and I'm pretty sure me and my dad will be connected back one day. And because of my dad, I have my sister and my awesome side of his family, which is awesome. So I love them both very much, but primarily I won't be able to talk about my mom because I know her better. Not to mention I have an amazing stepfather and I don't want to leave him out. He is the only father figure I've ever really known. I will never ever take him for granted. He is probably one of the strongest men I've ever met too because not only did he find a woman like my mom who already had kids, he took them in as his own and he still calls us his son and his daughters. Another thing I come across on a weekly or daily basis is that I come across way too many of my friends who do disrespect their parents, which I don't understand. I respect my mom like she's my mom. She brought me here. If it wasn't for her, and that nine months of carrying me, I would not be here shooting this video for you now. You would not be laughing. And when I say that, you know who you are. You know who you are. I would not say who you are. Let's just put the mystery picture and let it go. But my mom is still to me from a very early age. She brought me into this world. She can take me out of it. And that is all parents. You do not cross your parents. Now, like I said in previous video, I was raised by three women. My mom had me when she was really young, so she obviously needed help. So she enlisted not only her, but my grandmother and my aunt. And I respect them all, and I love them all very much. It's probably instilled in me the respect I have for women that's not daily troll jokes about women, of course. And when I say daily troll jokes about women, I mean stare dad comics like this. You laughed and you know it. But all I'm saying is that they're your parents, they might not understand, they grew up in a different time. So you gotta give them that leeway, you gotta explain to them. Otherwise, they're just gonna completely look over you and realize they have no idea what you're talking about and never have the conversation and connection they should with you. All they wanna be is your friend. And yet, parents are hard asses. That's what they do. They're trying to teach you about the real world. You cannot blame them for that. Me as a parent, I know I'm going to be a badass because I know how to raise, I'm not going to raise my, my son and my children like how my mom raised me, but only in the slightest. I still probably do the same things that she did, or would do a lot of things differently. 
because I want my son and other children to know that I'm an awesome dad, and if they just give it to me straight, I don't have to do anything they want. In other words, I'm going to be the fun dad. Sorry if you're watching this, but I am, and you're going to be the villain. But anyway, that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, 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 please go check out yesterday's video and the day before that. Um, tomorrow will be a Follow Friday video. Let's see who's putting it. Let's see who's putting it. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's see who's putting it. And we'll freaking get you some followers. Go down there and follow me on Twitter and come say hi. And let's start a conversation, you know. Conversation is key. And as always, don't forget to like this video, to comment this video. So you're going to comment, leave me some comments. Tell me what you guys are doing this weekend. What's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? And go subscribe right there. And I love you forever. Go like the like page and the link is right there. And don't forget to subscribe. I cannot stress that enough. And if you keep seeing that glare of light in my face, it's because I brought another light in this room and it's on the floor. So I'm sorry if you can't see past the eyes. But there they are, there they are. Don't forget, guys, until tomorrow, love sometimes, laugh often, and you'll live forever. I love you all. I will see you guys tomorrow. No, one more thing. I actually forgot something. Well, I didn't forget it, but I wanted to put it at the end of the video so it didn't touch anything on, you know, parents. So we're going to talk about something that was monumental because of the, it happened yesterday. Um, well, for me, it's monumental. If you're a musician and you like music, this video is monumental for you, too. One of the greatest bands ever announced that they're doing a reunion yesterday, and they're awesome, and I think it's just one show, and I won't be able to go to it because I live too far away from it, and it sucks. But that band is the receiving end of sirens, and they are amazing. You see, what had happened was I was on Twitter, and this Twitter account popped up in my feed, and I was like, ooh, Trio's evidence, what the hell is this about? And I click on it, and they're just an investigative site for the band because they were putting out all these mysterious messages comes to find out they're playing bamboozle and I'm gonna be able to go, I know it sucks, but I know people on YouTube who record it, so I'll watch it there. But anyway, make sure you go check out their Facebook, find out what they're up to, follow Trios Events and The Real Trios, and uh, tell them that I sent you, because this is awesome. Go listen to their two albums and their release, one new song that they released last year. It will be so worth it, trust me. And okay, now I'm gone. Thank you for listening.